Well, pedestrians narrowly missed being struck by an SUV that crashed into a building in Kendall Yards this morning. That vehicle ended up in the storefront of William Grant Gallery and Framing just off of Summit Parkway and North Cedar. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you with why the driver can now face charges. There was a lot of damage done here right behind me by this green Jeep that you see. It crashed into a building after police believe it was trying to get away from the scene of an accident. The damage was apparent. Bricks strewn everywhere. A fire hydrant ripped clear out of the ground and a storefront severely damaged. I was literally right here taking a picture. Aaron Snyder was looking at replacing a window of the store next door when he says he heard a crunching sound. As I turned to look to see what was going on, the car was right in front of me and slammed into the pillar. You can see by the tire marks that it was fairly close to where I was at. Police believe the noise Aaron heard was the driver sideswiping these two cars. Then, as he attempted to flee the scene, his gas pedal got stuck under a floor mat. It appeared that both people were not wearing their seatbelts and uh, they were, you know, quite a mess in there. She was complaining about her legs. He was not, um, he was almost unconscious. He says both passengers had head injuries from hitting the windshield. A doctor lived in the building the pair crashed into. He was able to treat them until paramedics arrived. In total, three cars were damaged, the two that were sideswiped, and another that had a light post knocked on top of it. Both occupants of the car were taken to the hospital. We'll continue to keep you updated as this story develops. Reporting in Spokane, Katie Curry, KXLY4 News.